Welcome, Brian Station, to the University of Kentucky College of Pharmacy. I'm Dr. Chappelle. I'm a faculty member and a chairman of a department here in the college. Uh, the department I represent is Pharmaceutical Sciences, which is the basic science department in the college. We do drug discovery. The other department is Pharmacy Practice and Science, and that is more affiliated with folks uh, that perform clinical um, work where they're actually meeting with patients and in the clinic settings. Good morning, I just wanna welcome you all to the College of Pharmacy. Our building, we believe, is one of the largest pharmacy buildings in the United States. It was designed so that the first two floors are primarily dedicated to teaching, and as you look up to floor three, four, and five, they are primarily utilized for research. So we are very proud of our building. The college is celebrating its 150th anniversary this year. So we're also very proud of that. The uh, college originally was established in Louisville, Kentucky, and then moved to Lexington in the 1950s. Our graduates enter a different array of job types, uh, ranging from things that you may be very familiar with, like community pharmacy practice, but they also function in hospitals and governments and public health settings and several other types of roles. So we hope that you'll also take the time to find out all the different opportunities that there are for people with PharmD degrees and pharmacist training. We confer the PharmD degree. That's a degree that allows you to become a practicing pharmacist. We also confer the uh, PhD in pharmaceutical sciences. And that's really for those persons that will be practicing drug discovery research, either at academic institutions or in private industry. An entering class is uh, comprised of 140 students. So our classrooms are set up to handle 140 students, as you'll see in a moment. But we have four such classes. Um, uh, you can think of it as, as um, the first year, second year, third year, and fourth year. And uh, really, the first two years are dedicated to learning the fundamentals, the basics, a lot of class uh, room. Um, work and then that's followed by in years two and three with more and more experiential education where you're actually performing in settings that are appropriate for a pharmacist. So join me as we walk on over and look into a classroom. a typical classroom for us that seats about 160 students but as I said before we have 140 to 145 students in a class. This is a classroom that's set up for a Farm D degree class. Uh, it seats about 160 as I said um, and as you can see it's set up with um, uh, really a podium up front. Um, it's set up today, of course, for uh, remote uh, and COVID isolation processes and procedures. But um, what happens is that there are large screens that pull down so that faculty members can provide PowerPoint slides. You can see there are video cameras. There's two big large screens that the videos will project to. But most importantly is that all our classes are recorded. Everything is done with um, audio and visual recording such that uh, the information can be stored on an uh, online uh, app that the students can then go back and review all the class material that they've been given. The student uh, desks, as you can see, are pretty basic, but um, they have 
a mic for the students. They have a, 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 a power outlets. Uh, and the students um, uh, also, very importantly, all the students come with an iPad. So when you get into the College of Pharmacy here, you get an iPad that allows you to have all the necessary apps uh, preloaded so that you will be able to follow along with the, the lecture material, make notes on, on the lecture material, capture all of that. All our exams and everything is done through a variety of special uh, portals, network portals, so that uh, it's all done securely. And it, so everything is pretty much uh, under an IT umbrella in here to make sure that the information is captured for the students to come back and forth in. Uh, we're, we're now starting our um, tours through a few of the facilities. The uh, first one is going to be the compounding lab here, and this is to help you gain a sense of how diverse the practice of pharmacy is, some of the different things that a practicing pharmacist will do. I'm going to let one of our students tell you about the compounding facility. That's going to be Austin right here. Hello, uh, my name is Austin, as Dr. Chappelle mentioned. Uh, I'm a third year pharmacy school student here uh, at the college. Um, as you can see behind me, uh, these are our sterile compounding hoods. Uh, one of the aspects of pharmacy that a lot of people don't really get a lot of experience with is um, the sterile compounding process. Uh, it's an aspect that a lot of us didn't know uh, or really didn't understand as we came into the pharmacy school. Um, while here at the college, uh, they go through all the, um, the, the government regulations, uh, USP 800 for hazardous drugs, 797 for sterile compounding, and uh, equipped us to um, gauge, gauge those, those aspects. The technical skills that we learn in the hood uh, oftentimes do not apply so much to pharmacists as usually we're on the checking end of the, of the spectrum, uh, but it does give us a great frame of reference for evaluation of pharmacy technicians uh, in the field. We are in the computer dispensary lab area and I've asked McKenzie to help explain what goes on in this lab. Hi, my name is Mackenzie. I'm a third year um, here at the College of Pharmacy. This is usually our computer lab. Before COVID, we, um, we have computers here. This is where we do simulations for the lab component of our coursework. Uh, every station will have a computer in here. This allows students to practice dispensing and verifying different medications. In the simulation room in the back, um, we can do activities like counting out medications, labeling um, prescriptions and prescription bottles, and um, simulating giving the medication to a patient just like you would in a real pharmacy. Hey there everybody, uh, my name's Gus. I'm also a third year student here at the College of Pharmacy. Um, this is an area, we, we've already showed you the um, sterile compounding area. This is the non-sterile compounding area where we uh, use things like more and pestle to grind up medications to make, you know, patient specific medications like pastes and, and things like that for people who need uh, dosage amounts that you can't get over the counter. We are now entering into the patient care facility and I'm going to have Karina uh, tell you about that. Hi, my name is Karina Patel. I'm a third year student at the um, College of Pharmacy. And um, if you follow me, we can go into the patient room on this. So this is a standard patient room that we have at the college. Um, in the patient rooms, we go over how to um, perform medication histories with the patients. We do a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, patient interactions with some actors that come in. Um, so after gathering some information in the patient care room for the patient, um, 
That could include some vital signs, the medications that they're on, some past medical history. We would then go into the conference room where we would then be able to use that information that we've gathered from the patient and have an interdisciplinary talk with other healthcare professionals on developing a treatment plan for the patient. Thank you very much for coming to visit us here in the College of Pharmacy at UK. We're, it's been a delight to have your video crew and others uh, join us. And I hope you got a sense of our building, what we're about, our educational objectives. You got to meet a few students. Um, really, what I hope you take away from all of this is that th there's a lot of opportunity in pharmacy. It's, uh, it is about being a pharmacist, but it's also about all the other technical parts of being in the profession. Lots of opportunity that we hope you will appreciate from this video. And I also want to invite you all to further explore pharmacy. And if you have any needs for help, assistance in doing that, you can contact me or Dr. Romanelli or anybody in our Academic Affairs Office. We would be delighted to help you learn more as you think about your career, your profession, and where you will end up in your uh, long-term uh, career aspirations.